Okay, one thing I forgot, I said see you in the next movie a little bit early. We still have the fire uh, uh, extinguisher that we wanted to bring to you. Uh, it, it's interesting because this is actually put out by Sunlight Supply. Um, you know, this is actually 110% uh, basically for just growing safety and common sense uh, would dictate that. For anything that's high voltage, I keep saying this because I don't want to seem like we're promoting that we are fire starters once again because we're not. But what, there is nothing wrong with um, right or right there I got a power box. Over top of that power box there's nothing wrong with hanging something like this in case there is a fire because if it's going to start anywhere it's most likely going to start on your power box or on your timer board. So this will cover only a four foot area but what's unique about this, and I haven't opened it yet, um, what's unique about this is that it actually takes 155 degrees temperature to actually set it off. Now some growers might think, oh shit, what if my you know, power goes out or whatever, or sorry, my uh, my or my AC goes out and uh, you know I end up with a problem that way with heat. Um, you're not going to get up to that temperature that it's going to actually trigger. So here's the unit, and then basically it hangs up on the roof. So I'm going to put this above my timer board, right? Which is not a big deal. It's 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 an industrial timer board, but it's going to be hung up like this, so that if there is a fire, as soon as those flames hit there and 155 degrees is reached, this will then extinguish the fire. It will work as a fire extinguisher, and uh, and the good thing is is that you don't have to be home to hold it. Now, I've always been a supporter of having a fire extinguisher nearby, but this handheld one is no good if I'm not home. I have 24-hour monitoring for fire and CO2. That doesn't help when I'm not home to put the fire out. This does. It's a one-stop shop. Um, and they come in different sizes. There's three different sizes. I'll put up your website so you can see it. And, uh, you know, like this one here will, will do a, uh, a four-foot area. So really, it's just going to cover my, my, uh, my box and, and some general, you know, stuff that's not otherwise flammable. So uh, I'm not too concerned about it. And the good thing is there's no plumbing, no wiring required other than to hang it. And uh, it's all just heat censored and, uh, and that's how it works. You should see this is clearly um, because of some of the different things that we use. And uh, you know, I'm not saying that, uh, that okay, this is what I like, to, I like to often say. You got that okay? Okay, um, the one thing I'd like to point out to people, and this is important. I am not suggesting that we start fires either. What I am saying is that there's nothing wrong with taking extra preventative measures to be safe. Whether it's over your standard power box in your house or whether it's over your timer board in your room. And the, I think you should have one over each in my own opinion if you have, a, you know, whatever, a, a, a concern about fire. Um, you know, use the right gauge wire and the other stuff and still you should still be concerned because you're pulling a lot of voltage. And uh, it's something that should be looked at. But at the same time, without saying we're fire starters, it's just like when you buy a chainsaw. You don't just go and put gas in it and go outside and start chopping overhead. If not, you're going to get a kickback and you're going to cut into your freaking skull. Because you're not thinking about reading the manual. So anytime you're using high intensity discharge lamps, or high intensity anything, you should probably just use common sense and read the manual and use the right stuff. Okay? And this is what it comes down to. So really, this isn't about saying, oh no, we're, this is here because there's going to be a fire. This is saying, no, this is here as a precaution, a fail-safe. Rather than lose my house, I only lose a timer board, you know, that can be replaced if that was to go. Or I lose a, a, a board over here that prevents my whole house from going up. You know, there's, there, anything can happen. This is an older house. So, I mean, these are things that we need to look at. So we decided to get this, that's the unit, I suggest you look into it, um, uh, uh, for anybody that, you know, if you spend a lot of time out of the house and you leave your lights running, it'd be smart to put something like this over, they do have larger units that of course cover a much larger area, um, if that's a concern. So, um, uh, to each their own on that, and uh, once again, this is Jason Wilcox, and that's basically Fire Safety 101, and we'll see you in the next movie. Cheers.